This is Susan from LifeScape at the opening day of the Sports Museum of America in Lower Manhattan. This is the nation's first museum to pay tribute to the history and excitement of all sports, from football to bowling, including figure skating. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, joined by 30 Hall of Fame athletes, began the celebration by welcoming thousands of cheering sports fans. Sports inspire and sports entertain us, and uh, young and old alike, and they teach us an awful lot about respect and about teamwork, everything that I think brings people together and really defines New York City. You know, New York City has been such an incredible sports town, if you think about it, from Murderer's Row to the Miracle Mets, from the shot heard around the world to the greatest game ever played. So it seems fitting that the Sports Museum of America, the first nation's museum de dedicated to all sports should be right here in the Big Apple. It's a great honor to be here today with so many people who shared the same dream. And to look at these great athletes to my left and to my right who have shared so many of their own dreams. It's a great honor for me uh, to be here on stage with so many great athletes, so many great sports figures uh, of our time and also here to, to kick off the opening uh, the Sports Museum of America. Uh, finally, a museum that's not specific to just one sport, but has all sports that everybody can enjoy. And there's not a better place to have this than the city of New York. The Sports Museum is the new home of the Heisman Trophy, as well as the Billie Jean King International Women's Center. The center also houses the Women's Sports Foundation's Hall of Fame. The museum brings together over 25 different sports under one roof. Visitors are met with high-tech exhibits, as well as displays showcasing treasured memorabilia that any sports fan would recognize. In the figure skating area, some of the items include Dick Button's figure skating jacket and a great video of skating legend Michelle Kwan. Also on display is Christy Yamaguchi's dress from the 1992 Winter Olympics where she won the gold. In front of the exhibit honoring 2002 Olympic gold medalist Sarah Hughes, I asked co-founder Philip Schwab about figure skating's contributions to the museum. We're very proud to both be partnered with the Figure Skating uh, Hall of Fame and USA Figure Skating, and also we really love the Figure Skating exhibit in the Olympic Room. I think people are going to be really thrilled by what they see, and America's had such a great legacy of female figure skaters, and we pay tribute to them in, in our Olympic gallery. Well, hey, listen, this is a great exhibit. Um, in fact, I've had the great pleasure of talking to Sarah Hughes and her father a few times. Everybody should come out and see hockey exhibit, figure skating exhibit, all these great sports here at the, at the Sports Museum of America. For, fan, for fans, for sports lovers, there's no better place here in Lower Manhattan than this museum. And right over here we've got Jim Cray, who won the uh, gold medal in 1980, all his exhibits. So for anyone who's a figure skating fan or a hockey fan or just a sports fan, you have to come and see this great museum.